Oh yeah, we, let's we bring it. We're gonna bring it in like we've already started. Every day is a miracle, Andy. Every oh, yeah. we can do this, Andy. <laughs> I'm, Jay, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be talking you down. I'm gonna yeah. be talking you down. I need this, Jay. This camera's on. It is. Yeah. Okay. okay so it's in the shot that's on TV. I know. Okay. Yeah, so okay. I'll switch to this one instead. Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> With tw 20 seconds. Oh, it doesn't move though. That's all right. Okay. It's it's working now. The shot looks fine. It's got camera. It looks no, good. No, that's no that one's. I mean, that's that ten one. seconds, baby. Good. We're gonna we're gonna come live with green fine. screen, baby. Oh, it's right up on our grill. Excellent. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go live. What? Uh, we are we are How not ready. America, we are seconds? not ready. How many seconds? How many Let me seconds? get a hot count. Gonna... How many seconds? I think we can do this, Sandy. I believe curtain. that we can do this. This People is just a little look. A little this bit. is a live look into the studio. This has not been keyed yet. This is what sure happened is. was there's a now. new camera. It is not keyed. I cannot make this clear enough. This is showbiz. This is exactly what happens. This is how Carrot Top got started. This is how Gallagher got started. This is how American is cinema has worked for years and years and years like this. Everybody's seen it. Charlie Chaplin would often start his movies okay. sans set. It's okay. We're going to do... Oh, look at how... Oh, the pubis is Oh, my back. God. The pubis is back. Camera, you wanted it. You camera, got it, America. Nine, we got a camera nine pubis uh, time but, filler. But I would like to get a good shot of uh, Tina here. Uh, so just go ahead and take... Hey, okay, hey, we're no, back. No, no, we are no, back. No, this no, is a live shot. Okay, we're going to Tina. I'm going to wrap her up now. All right, ladies. Ladies, let's get this exercise happening. Oh. Andy, you are not in this show today. I cannot make it clear. <laughs> Enough, we, are we are not. Lied, this we is a lied. live, and that is you right. You are seeing ET, the, are... the super camera, our new live look. It yes. is suspended in midair. That is not a tripod underneath. It's actually no. hanging from the ceiling. That is right. Uh, through from microscopic fishing wire. So you're really getting a deep dive into production. Everything you want, you get to see it. Later on, we will be going to a new shot. They will be filming the camera that is filming the camera you're seeing on screen right now. <laughs> And so on and so on to infinity, Andy, to infinity. Andy. Here's the thing. I think it's time to say welcome to the Jaguar Morning Show. It's 9 a.m. Mountain Time. You are in Denver, Colorado. Yes. Probably. Maybe you're not. Because of the magic of the internet at jaguarmorningshow.com, you can interact, chat with us, and watch us wherever you are on Earth. Yeah. So we're in the middle of the first segment, or the beginning of the first segment. We're going to work your, work out all your lats, dats, and tats. That is right. And we're just going to start this off as we do every day with just a march in place. You can do this at home. We want you out there. We're trying to get you warmed up. We're trying to make you feel good. We got Tina, Jessica, and Patty in the blue over there. T J P. Tina, Jessica, Patty. Oh, ooh, can you feel this opening up your chest? I, I can. can and speaking of opening up the chest, I like how Tina's look. If you look at her, t she has the shredded uh, chest piece of modern dress. That's but but right. she's doing it in her own time frame. Tina was ahead of her time is the point. She is. This was filmed in 1961. You wouldn't know it. But, yeah. And so when you think about what they were doing fashion-wise then, it's amazing. It's absolutely breathtaking. Yes. This blue, this teal over there on Tina, and Tina and the teal, it's so great. If you'll remember, as the times line up, this is around the Vietnam era. So yes. there was a lot of teal and magenta out in the... Out in the junk. That is right. Once you come back from that, you got that thousand eye stare and you got that teal, teal jumpsuit just shoved right on up the backside. And that's good. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. how you know it's a true yeah. representation. Agent Orange. How about Agent Teal? Oh, and she pointed at her pubis. As you know, here at the Jaguar okay. Show, we do remain pubis focused. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've gone the most amount of time we've ever uh, been on the show during workout without talking about the pubis, and we'd like to apologize to you. Seriously, though, in all honesty, we're super duper sorry that we haven't talked about the pubis yet. We are and sorry. And we're really going to focus in on it for you. We're going to probably say the word pubis too. Three, four hundred times before the show's over. So if that's what you're into, keep tuning in. This is the Jaguar Morning Show. Andy. It is the Jaguar Morning Show. It's on Xfinity 57, CenturyLink 8809, and wow, what a burst of energy we're trying to give you as you're, we're trying to be your bowl of kicks and uh, a slice of bacon 
with a glass of juice because you need this, America. That's right. Hey, look, Mikey, he likes it, they say. <laughs> Referring, of course, to Jaguar. That is, oh, our, super that is our super producer is here. He, he is Wait, live. He, you can he, chat with Alan at jaguarmorningshow.com. That's a live look. Yes. If you want to interact with us, it's, you can do it. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. You simply type in a message, and Alan will convey it to us, and we'll have an interaction both digitally and through a coaxial cable. A lot of people say, or, am I interacting with a Russian bot when I interact with the, the Jaguar voice? No, that is a human uh, being. 100%. Uh, yes. I've tested it. I've poked him with a needle. And it's just, it is all, he is all about that. You remember, he made an appearance last week during Wake Up With Jay. Yeah, Alan's face gets into the, into, the, into the show more and more as time goes on. But if you want to interact with us, please, jaguarmorningshow.com. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you're going to want to Postmates us some uh, food over at 700 Calamath. That's how you become a number one cub. You become one of our little... Kitten babies, we're gonna you send over. Uh, there's like 14 people working here in the studio today, so you're gonna want to send over about 28 McDonald's single cheeseburgers. That's one for each person. We'll make sure 25% of that goes to the station, and I don't want you to worry. We will leave you eight cheeseburgers on your desk so that when you get here at noon, a pyramid of cheeseburgers. That's right, just what you demand. You said when you brought these Jaguar boys into this station, you said I hope I get a pyramid of cheeseburgers, and it's paying off. That's right, one of the best weddings I ever went to was actually at the campus of the headquarters of McDonald's in Chicago, okay. Elkbrook, Illinois, what? and at midnight, they brought out platters of cheeseburgers. Oh, like probably all hot and fresh, too. And like totally actually hot and fresh, good. like it was their freaking job. Indeed. It was unbelievable. Every drunk person there said, hallelujah, give me that single slice of American cheese. And as you know, we do take your phone calls live on the air here at Jaguar 972 510-4192. We're going to see who's calling us now, okay? Hello, this is Jay Gillespie. You're live on the Jaguar Morning Show. Thank you very much for calling. We'll see you live on the air every Tuesday and Thursday, but you can call in. Wow, that's nice, Jay. What's the number again? 972-510-4192. That is Jay Gillespie's personal phone, and you can call it live on the Jaguar Morning Show that's... and interact with me and Andy right now. A lot of people would only offer that and maybe say a real estate cert field or some sort of insurance or sales capacity. Jay is on call for you at all times. He's going to offer that personal cell phone number yes. so you can reach out and call him whether he's using the restroom or, or doing his famous pogo stick routines down at Civic Civic Center Park. That is right. You're going to want to see me bounce. You're going to want to call it. You've got a pretty heavy head rush. So if I pass out live on the air, do not call an ambulance. Just let me die in the studio. This has been my dream. This has been my dream for two weeks now, Andy, to die live on the air yes. the, with the Jaguar Jay, boys. Jay has a number of significantly dark... Uh, pubis oriented uh, demises that he sort yes. of he sort of sorted through over time and projected as a potential reality in his Denver open media future. That is right. I've also portrayed him all in a graphic novel series that I Ooh. write and I also ink it, but I don't draw it. And what that is, is it's just an exploration of the different ways that I might take my own life. You know, a lot of people are like, Jay, boy, he's sure having fun. Now, There's a dark side to this. Now, it sounds like our interactive chat is up and running. We That's have right. a message from the chat center. Alan, what, what do the listeners and viewers have to say? People want to know the number we can call Jay on. People really want it. Oh, that is right. And once again, can, can we get this, my personal phone number up on the screen, please? I think we're joshing you. This is real, people. This is, this is the the one you've been waiting for. Yes, this is episode 105, and once again, that phone number, and I hope you're ready in the studio, my personal phone number is 972. This is the big one. 510 4192. You can call me 24 hours a day. That's the commitment to this show that Jay makes every morning, and we hope you're making a commitment to enjoying your oatmeal, but also pushing the kids out the door and just having a bath. It's 9.09 .09 in the morning. That's right. I want an absurd number of phone calls. Me and Andy want to talk to you on the air, okay? That's this right. is how Howard Stern did it. This is how he met Gilda Radner the first time. This, this is, is classic assistant. Stern stuff. 
And we want your interaction because you're the heart and soul of this show. You're in segment one. If you've never seen the show before, we're in the middle of a workout segment. But you can interact by calling us on Jay's phone right right. now. That's the real number. That is my personal phone number. Dial it and we'll throw you up on the air right now. The first person to say Baba Booey through my phone will get a handwritten note on handcrafted Tibetan paper. This is handmade paper from the country of Tibet. This is what the Beastie Boys were fighting for. You can do it now. Let's tune in. Let's work this pubis, Andy. Yeah, they were doing a double uh, calf squat there, and now we're just back into marching in place. Yeah, and when all else fails, just get out there and march. Just get out there and march. Still waiting for your calls, America. Yeah, we gave you ample time to write down that number and... Uh, <laughs> and we always want to focus on the pubis, and that's nice. And that is both sides of the pelvis. It is a couple of bones, boom, right here, boom, right there. This you is your pubis. Together. And this is where all life starts, and it's where your life is going to start with us every Tuesday and Thursday morning. Yeah, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Comcast Channel 57, sometimes on the radio when they don't think I'm being blasphemous. Yes. Also at the thejaguarmorningshow.com. You're going to go there, you hop in that chat room, you're going to call us on the phone, you're going to just, you're going to postmate this food, and once again, you're going to get that handcrafted Tibetan paper. Now, you're doing some sort of, like, back and forth... I ain't grapevine. Oh, look at the yeah. way, look at Tina back without, there. But without that leg cross. It's like a Can Charleston. Get... It's like a Charleston, but with less heroin. It's it's very, it's like a, it's like a hip hop Charleston. It's got like some crab, it's got a crab element to it. This is going to hurt my knees tomorrow. I Sometimes can't... I do these workouts in and I, I'm a, I know I'm going to feel it in my knees tomorrow. I'm not a young chicken anymore. I'm an old butt. I know this. My elbows will lock if I do, if I do any more of that. My elbow will just lock out. It'll be stuck like this the whole episode. Yeah, and then how are we going to eat all that medicated peanut butter? I think you know what I'm talking about, oh, America. I'll dip my nub in it because <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh, I just have to have you help me reach. No, it is impossible to lick your elbow with your tongue, Andy. We've talked about this. I'm tired of watching you try to eat peanut butter off the tip of your elbow. You have to use both hands. When you're in the sandbox, you play with your toys. And what right. do we have? We have nubs and we have other nubs. Other nubs. Play with your nubs is what I'm saying. We have, don't have enough appreciation for the blunt parts of our body. We yes. always focus on these prehensile fingers. That's right. You're all about the tips. I'm all about the middles. I like the middle of yes. the arm. I like the middle of the leg. That's this, good eating. Look at this nub. Yes. Everyone's got one of these. Enjoy your nub. It's a big, bulbous nub. Don't make me pull my shirt off because you know I will. You know that I'm proud of my body. Here at Jaguar, we want you to be proud of your body, too. So many people worried about it. Oh, am I too fat? Do I have bad skin? Is my hair bad? It doesn't matter. You need to be you, and you need to not worry about anyone anyone else thinks. Because here at the Jaguar Show, we love you, and we are 100% on your side. Thanks for tuning in. That's right. And if you feel like you're a little spread thin, maybe... You've got a, uh, a, a hip dysplasia like a young Labrador, and you just have that ball joint that popped out of your yeah. socket. Yes. Get in the wheelchair, shake it off. You're going to be in that chair for a couple months. It's recovery time. Take the time to read again. Take the time to breathe. Take the time to enjoy life. And I hate to say it, but this episode is in memoriam Chip the dog. This dog yes. died this morning. And we just wanted to take a minute and just God sort of it, chat Chip, no. about it. Uh, but Chip was such a good dog, so friendly. During the workout segment, we like to talk about cute creatures that have recently died. Yeah. Uh, shouts out to Chip. Uh, long time viewer. Long time viewer, every, Chip. Thanks so every much. Every seven seconds in Denver, a dog of that exact breed dies. Yes. And so during the show, you're looking at about 48... Uh, mm. 480 different dogs that might die during the show. So if you're ever like questioning your investment in pets and maybe taking an animal into your home, do not. These dogs are dropping like flies yeah. and there's nothing we can do about it. That is right. Do not invest your heart in anything or any world. <laughs> I've always said, uh, as a man, uh, it is my responsibility to 100% close myself off emotionally from anyone getting in. And what I've done is, that's why I'm able, that's why I'm such a good news reporter, Andy, is I'm able to distance myself. Yes, Chip, a beautiful, sweet dog, was mercilessly shot down in its prime this morning. It It doesn't affect me. I don't feel it. Because I am numb to that. I'm numb to that. And you can be numb to it too, America. You can do it. 
put a, put a gun in every dog's mouth. That's what yes. we say. This is this is America, as Donald Glover has pointed yeah. out. And why don't our dogs have a little holster on the side of their head that they or their owners can activate through their thoughts or a gland that they squeeze in their mouth? That is That's right. kind of what I think. Yeah, I think every dog has the right to end its life at any point that it sees fit. Oh, dog euthanasia? Are you kidding me? Yes, yes, uh, young dogs in Asia. Young dogs everywhere should be allowed <laughs> to sort of like end it when they feel, yes. feel right. And, and I've felt that way about many creatures, uh, many creatures over the course of time. There's a live look at somewhere doing something. No one knows. It's so dark. Uh, it's so dark in there. Oh, uh, that is a live shot of Wally, executive producer we Wally. Got a, we got a picture of Wally in the uh, in the hallway. Yes. It's very faint, but trust us, that is Wally. Yes. And maybe Sparks. I can't. We can't see. It's like, it. are you afraid of the dark? This is the tale uh, I, I submitted for the approval oh, of the Denver to... Open oh, Media Roger. Society. I call this tale the curse of the dark hallway. Now it is 9:15. You are getting a live look at our hallway. It's not just paparazzi and red carpets for us. No. There are real hallways with bad lighting. Yes, with terrible lighting. Almost lighting so bad that you would say. Dear God, why would we even cut to that? Because we want to bring you the truth and what is real. We, we are not here to sugarcoat uh, what it is to produce a live, 100% live morning television show. When you were okay. a child, you wanted to be the center fielder for the Boston Red Sox. And you know what? It doesn't just happen because you're a cute kid with a cool hat. You got to get out on that sandlot. You got to hit the ball and the stick around for about 25 years to even have a chance and earning your father's love or a home run in America. That's right, it's not field of dreams anymore, idiots. This is real life, and you're gonna need to work out, you're gonna need to focus. It's the eyes, yeah. it's the heart, it's, it's the musculature, all right? And frankly, yeah. and I've gotta burst some bubbles here, yeah. uh, once again, this is a live shot of a camera in the studio. That is what we are getting for you. Yeah. We are 100%, <laughs> this is how Good Morning America does this it. This is how This is how they worked out the kinks at GMA back in the day. That is right. With that Joe remember. London. Yeah, Joan London and a London Charles and hosting. Charles Gibson. Charles Gibson and Gibson Charles Minor. All of these people every day bringing you the news, but making it fun. Wait, oh no, it's just a march again. Every oh. time they cut to me, I'm doing a big kick because I can't keep up with the movements. Yeah, I'm not even trying. I'm just making sure that my energy is kinetic and frantic. That's oh, all I'm doing. This crab Andy. elbow stuff is unreal. But remember, another good reminder, use those nubs. Use your nubs. You're going to want to get in there. And you're going to want to shove your elbow into things. And you're going to want to sort of, we are doing, watch this, America. Watch Ooh. this, America. Ah. Just what you're ah. thinking. Just ah. what you thought. It couldn't get ah. any sexier. We brought you episode five of the Jaguar Morning Show. We doubled down. Baby. Here's the thing. A lot of people are just getting woke to this now. The Jaguar Morning Show, this very show you're watching, Jaguar, like the animal. Jaguar. It's an acronym. It's an acronym. We can't tell you what Jaguar the acronym stands for until nope. episode 33. That is right. You're going to want to tune in. This is episode 5. So that's, yeah. that's going to put you somewhere in September. Yes. Okay? And maybe after Labor Day, you're going to find out what this is about. So why not take the journey with us now, every Tuesday and Thursday from 9 to 11 Mountain Time, and just put a bookmark. Yes. JaguarMorningShow.com. Yep. Bookmark it. You can, you can chat with us right now. And right some now. people have. You can also just Postmates us food at 700 Calamath. This is you're an gonna, option. You're going to get some of Jay's clothes. Yeah, we, we want to send you my clothes. Uh, and that's the thing. As you know, as I know you know, because you know, Jaguar format rigid. We are in a 30-minute workout. That is 9 to 9.30 every Tuesday and Thursday. So if you're feeling flabby or you're not feeling fit, you can get out there and you can do a workout with us every Tuesday, Thursday, 9 to 9.30. Now, I don't know what, what exercise they're doing, but this is where we were left. So I'm like in a pause. When they cut back, I bet you there are nine exercises past this movement. Uh, you see, oh, oh, see? Just Nothing. giving you what you want. Just giving oh. you what you want. I, as you know, after that workout, what happens then, Andy? Guys, right at 9.30, which is in about 10 minutes, we're going to have an hour of news, weather, traffic, sports, astrology, this day in history, celebrity gossip, cooking, and all sorts of health tips. Yes. We have a chock full news desk of a show. It is jammed with papers. It is jammed with content. We're going to pull something out and put it in front of your face. That is right. I have had one third of a monster energy drink, and I'm going to drink the other two thirds over the course of this episode. 
I am flying like a kite and I'm feeling good and I am excited to bring you the hottest news religious uh, coverage. We are covering religion. Are we panning my body yet? Have we panned my body? Uh, it's getting out towards 920. Uh, uh, have we have we panned my body yet? America, the Twitter, Twitterverse is blowing up. They don't want you to pan my body. Oh, zoom in and then you just slowly pan down my body. You see what we're bringing you, America? Pubis, thigh, knee. We're bringing you calf all the way down. These are Walmart shoes, okay? Not available at Payless. We're going to bring it back up. Back to the calf. Back, you see, and then the whole thing. That's the Jaguar boys for You're it. in the middle of the Jaguar morning show. It's 9.20 Mountain Time. Yes. That means, just for math, East Coasters, it's 11.20. Yes. You're, oh, you have a little bit of time to keep watching this on your way to your big Madison Avenue pitch in New York City. That's right. You're on your way to Merrill Lynch. You're going to walk right past that defiant girl statue. Yes. You're going to snub out your $300 cigar, possibly on the hand or face of the homeless, and you're going to do your best Ooh. to shove another suppository of capitalism right up the b-hole of American society. And we thank you for that, Wall Street. Quick hand for Wall Street. Big yeah. up to Wall Street. Wall Street. All, you, all you traders in any time zone, That's right. especially the ones in Seattle, let's say. You wake up in Seattle, that market's open at 6 a.m. I can't tell you how many families are torn apart because Dad hasn't been to breakfast in 40 years. That's right. He is starving, but he doesn't have time for it because that market is going crazy. Oh my goodness. Quick it, shout out to our live studio audience today. Yes, They're we have Sarah, settling in. Sarah's in the audience. We have a live studio audience just off camera and trust us, the feeling is electric. And we they, we love them, they love us, and everybody's just here having a good time. <laughs> we're gonna check our pulse real yeah, quick. Even you in the off. audience can do well, that. Well, there she is. That is a live look at our studio audience. Once again, and I'm gonna slide in here. I'm gonna slide in here so that you know it's real. You see, you know this is a real shot of the audience. Now, this was not pre-planned. You see that geography on that green screen, it's gonna make perfect sense. See? Yep. He was down in that lower uh, three o'clock, or whatever o'clock, five o'clock portion of your screen. Guys, it's tough to tell time. Please check your pulse. Please breathe through the pubis. Yes, remember, and if you are in the 70th percentile at 23, Parentheses 140 and you're 20, you're killing it today. Yeah, that's right. If you're 24 and you're in an 80% 144 beats per yeah, minute, yeah, yeah. you can be a DJ and you're healthy. That's right. Spin those Chemical Brothers tracks on those 12-inch <laughs> mixes with the block rocket beats and the Hey Boy. That's hey right. Hey Boy, and you're just having a good time. Yeah, just pop open a bottle of Asti Spumanti. That's right. And then right. pour some Alizé down your friend's throat. That's right. We are going to shine on Harvest Moon, a little thing I like to call a cool down. Now, if you remember, uh, Sheila comes strong. She had a style well before any of us even knew what clothes were. Whoa. I mean, look at this. Wait. This is like the reverse Macarena. Oh, yeah. It's oh, the reverse oh, Macarena. Oh, butt, oh. butt, shoulder, shoulder, sky, uh, see, sky. Yeah, but, knee, 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 butt, butt, shoulder, shoulder, sky, sky. Knee, okay, knee, now. knee, butt, butt, shoulder, shoulder, sky. And remember, if you want to get fit, you're just going to want to knee, knee, butt, 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 butt shoulder, 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 and then sky, sky. sky, sky. You see, knee, 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 knee butt, butt, knee, shoulder, 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 sky, sky. sky. You understand? Knee, 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 butt, 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 butt shoulder, so, shoulder, 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 shoulder,
this is important, but we, as we go into the news segment, trust, romance, understanding, excitement, listening, overcoming, valuable, everything. And that is exactly a summation of what we're bringing you here at the Jaguar Morning Show. That's the type of acronym we're leaving you as a breadcrumb yes. to the real acronym, which is Jaguar. It's a little amuse-bouche to the, to the main course, which is, of course, me and Andy laid out in front of you yeah. in all of our glory, uh, emotionally spread eagle and ready. That's okay. right. And it's like, this is like a, a, a grape leaf dolma that's being pushed yes. into your mouth. Yes. Or if you live in middle America, maybe a potato skin. Yeah, but, uh, you know, maybe you've dipped the potato skin in tzatziki or you've di dipped the dolma in ranch. Either way, a lot of ways to have fun well, in this society. What we're saying is... Oh, we're about to go to another commercial There's break. so much yogurt to be eaten after the break. We are going to be in the newsroom. We've got Four new segments! Oh my Four! God. So if you're a Jaguar head, this is for you. This is all new stuff. You have never seen the likes of these segments. That's We're right. We're talking celebrity gossip, Jess. Yes. This health. day in history, talking okay. about May 15th itself, and also uh, health and some other things. We'll be back right after this break with an hour of news. Turn off every other news channel. You're in the Jaguar. It's smoldering women. It gets very hot in there. Doug McClure battles exploding dinosaurs. Dancing dinosaurs, and worst of all, the ugly one. Is there any escaping from the center of the earth? If there is, maybe he will be coming up soon. At the Earth's Core on Denver's Television 2, 7 p.m. Wednesday. This part of the brain controls the subject's emotions. Hey, get off my lawn! This part controls hunger. Hey, you, uh, you gonna eat that? This controls sexual impulses. This controls rational thought. Why would I buy a 32-bit system for $300 when I can get a 64-bit Jaguar system for $149? Atari Jaguar, 64-bit, $149. Bucks. Knock it off! The Colorado Ballet with the Colorado Ballet Orchestra invites you to mark your place in their storybook season and wander back to Once Upon a Time. Save up to 13% over individual ticket prices by ordering your season ticket now for these four fabulous performances of the 1985-86 season. Enjoy the finest in music and dance from your Colorado Ballet. Everyone is beautiful at the ballet. Benjamin Hall on the Jaguar system to play Cybermark. Let's see how those beastly graphics and intricate moves have only come from 64 bits of Mega Power Field. Then, Cybermark only on Jaguar by Atari. Get bit by Jaguar. Tuning into our good time. And we are back live at the Denver Open Media Studio, Studio B here in Denver, Colorado. If you're watching on the internet, it's jaguarmorningshow.com. Mm -hmm. uh, type it into a URL into your browser. Yeah. Watch and interact with us. We've got our producer Alan on the line taking our your chats. Uh, right. We are expecting a full buffet sent to us on Postmates 700 Calamat. Yes. For those of you who have not watched the show, about 68% of the time we get a box of bagels or a 
Stack them at griddle. So it's your, it's, you, if you're watching, it's your obligation to Postmates us food at 700 Calamans, Jay. Picture yourself being able to get it on the ground floor of Microsoft or Google. Yeah. That's what you're able to do right now with the Jaguar Morning Show. Uh, oftentimes people say, Andy, Jay, you are the Bill Gates. You are the Elon Musk. Yes. You are the Tanya yes. Harding or the Tara Lipinski of morning uh, Jaguar formatted television shows. How can I get in on the ground floor? And I say it's really easy. You're going to walk in the front door and you're going to Postmates us some food to 700 Calumet. That's right, Andy. It's you're not that complicated. Right. We need food and you're, you're the one, just the one to send it to us. 700 Calumet. We all know it. Uh, if you're not in Denver, it's just 700 Calumet Street. Send yeah. it to us. There's Bill. There's Elon. Yes. I did that backwards, but you got the idea. Yes. Um, we are being bankrolled by some of the biggest and brightest yes and it's time for you to get involved by giving us some food okay jay we've we, got an incredible amount of headlines I, that's i don't know uh almost more than could even be covered in one short i know i know what you're saying gentlemen you have two full hours of live tv and that's not enough time to do it absolutely not the news Andy, in this day and age, it's coming fast, it's coming furious, it's coming ferociously, and it's coming, it is coming right at you like a freight train. And if I don't dive right into it, Andy, I don't even know what we're going to be able to do. We have to get right there. There's no time to waste, Andy. This is the behavior we're looking for. We are looking for you to turn off CNN, yes. to turn off MSNBC, yes. turn off Fox News, yes. turn off... PBS for Pete's sake. For God's sake. Just sense. make yourself Jaguar centric. Yes. DVR all the episodes. Yes. If you have CenturyLink or Xfinity, you can DVR them. Yes. I have them all scheduled, and I go home and I make a warm pina colada. Yes. I like I like that pina colada warm, Jay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like to feel the warmth of it, like I'm in a bayou or something. Yes. Some sort of swamp. Yes. It's exactly how it would be as the sun rose over an ocean and warmed your face. From a night of sleeping in a hammock. Yes, it's where the exactly bugs are that. crawling on you, and the, yeah, and, and the humidity is just giving you a little kiss. And there's just a little, there's there's a macaw up in the tree, and he's and he's going, he's just singing his morning song. Andy, we're getting straight into breaking news right now. Okay? That's right, Jay. We've got so many stories. This is your proof positive content delivery system news, Jay. What do we got? Any yes? Are you familiar with this nonsense called Obamacare? Oh my gosh, Obamacare. Get it out of town. It is in what is Just being kidding. hailed as a death spiral. It is in a death spiral, ladies and gentlemen. If you are not rich, you <laughs> are spiral. in trouble. Trouble, trouble. But you know my philosophy. Ooh, look at here he comes. That's it. We are coming, we are coming for it with a hammer. This is the American uh, social economic system right here. And Donald Trump is shaking things up with the sledgehammer right to it. Here's what I'm hearing, Andy. Yes. In Virginia, uh -oh, healthcare prices are expected to rise by 64.3%. Oh my God. Dong told the death knell. Dong told the death knell of Obamacare. Ah. Dong told the death knell of Obamacare. That's what's happening in America, Andy. Now you may be thinking to yourself with conventional wisdom that isn't our president just looting the country and selling it a piece by piece to yes. the highest bidder and sort of deregulating and uh, deconstructing everything our president uh, previously did out of spite? The answer is yes. But what he's really doing, what Jay's trying to say is, he is an iconoclast, okay? Yes. He is a breaker of norms. He doesn't want status quo. Sure, he's gonna have a limousine with a hot tub carrying a stripper behind it and he's gonna be slapping her, you know, six ways from Sunday. But hey, he's the president, America. Yeah, we elected That's him. my explanation. Uh, the thing is, you're like, why is Donald Trump doing this to our country? This is the American dream, as it was recently explained to me, is to get everything that you could possibly get at the cost of anyone and everything that matters. And that is what, that's where people are confused. They're like, Donald Trump is ruining our country. No, our country was ruined, so we elected Donald Trump. You people have it backwards, and so that's what we do. That's where we're at. I think you need to stop fighting. You need to embrace it. Uh, I would say get yourself a patch or anything like that. Put it on your body and just try to forget. This is us. Uh, MC Escher was right. George Orwell was right. Uh, all of them are right. Our country is dying, and in, and in honor of that, 
Andy and I are bringing you the Jaguar Morning Show every Tuesday and Thursday That's from 9 right. to 11 a.m. That's right. So if you're in Virginia, we know it's for lovers. We're sorry about your health care debacle. Donald Trump will be there real soon to fix it. Uh, and he may be coming with his pals with the torches. That's right. The, the nationwide average before we go to traffic, Andy, is going to be a 13.4% rate. Wow. Traffic Express. It's money saver traffic. We're saving you money because we're saving you time. That is right. And you're going to need that money because if you get so much as a cold, no one's going to help you. The traffic is heavy now, if it's today. A day, if it's a day that ends in Y, we've got a real jammer out there at Hampton in 25. If you're pulling off in the... To go see the Avengers at the Regal Cinemas, you've got a rude awakening. You're going to be sitting there for a while. You might want to open a can of non-perishable goods. Not to mention everyone dies. We're going to take a quick look That's over right. here. Everyone in Avengers dies. The traffic here is atrocious. That's Trump what... is destroying our country, and the only thing left to do is to watch the Jaguar Morning Show every Tuesday and Thursday. This is a live look at, at what is the everyone's heart, everyone with any feelings heart right here. Yeah, it's like, you, an error it's like you think you're just driving around in a car, but really you're in a manhole with no light. And you can't get out of that manhole because it's your personal isolation chamber that you've put yourself in by pushing everyone else in your life you love away for your own um, defense because of trauma. That is right. Welcome to the Jaguar Morning Show Echo Chamber. It is just me and Andy in a continuous round. We call it the Algonquin yeah. Round Table. We made that term up to describe me and Andy's conversations yes. during the Jaguar Morning Show. Yes. You're welcome. Traffic's cooking, Andy. Yeah, the, the traffic through the mountain couldn't be any zippier today, Jay. If you're getting a pizza at Bojo's, you can get one, wait the 20 minutes for the pizza, and be on the slopes in 25 minutes if you've got those boots strapped up right. That's right. As you know, we bring you live look at the weather at 9.35 every Tuesday and Thursday in the morning. And today it's going to be a mostly sunny morning. Yeah, it's going to be sunny during the morning. You're going to see showers at night. That's a real weather forecast. Do you think we're joking? We're giving you the live information. We want you to have it. Okay? You asked for it. We're giving it to you. Cut it out. Cut it out. Quit accusing us of taking big weather money and stuff like that yeah. to only report. We're gonna, we bring it to you real. Uh, when when the flight attendants are on strike, we tell you that. When the bees are attacking American citizens, yes. we tell you that. Fox News does not report that. The liberal media will not report that. You're not going to read that in Washington Post, okay? You're only going to get that from your favorite Jaguar boys, Jake Gillespie, Andy Jew. That's right. In Texas and down near the Panhandle, Oklahoma and Texas, Texas are garbage today. Yes. Uh, just like always in the southeast yes. in the spring, there's going to be rain all over Florida and Georgia. There's literally no surprises. So it's up to you to take the slings and arrows of rain and get in your car and get to work. Every you day. Gotta. Every day is exactly the same. If you don't bust yourself out of the drudgery of your life, no yes. one is going to help you. If you are living in Georgia right now, you need to move. That state is pure garbage. And here's the thing. You have two choices. And Jay, I think we'll agree on this. You have two choices. One, either quit your job. Quit your job. And walk out, which is Number definitely one. the best choice. Yes. But if you are going to show up today, get in there and do your damn best. Yeah. Okay? This isn't a time to... To lean back and smoke a cigarette and flick your boss off. Mm. Make something happen. Be an asset. That is right. And you know we have a lot of fun here, but we also bring you the most up-to-date and current news stories happening. Are you familiar with what's with what's been happening in Israel, Andy? I am. It's uh, ridiculous and crazy. Uh, like, you know, 2,400 people were injured yesterday because right. Donald Trump wanted to move the embassy to Jerusalem. Yes. Uh, so... Sick. Great job. Uh, it seems totally worth it to have 57 people die so far or something, including a baby. Uh, yes. Uh, Donald Trump's making sure, and this is where uh, his leadership comes into play. Donald Trump is not just taking a dump on America. Yeah. Uh, he is taking a big old wet dump on the entire world, America. And that's just how it's going to go. It's 2018. Hope is lost. Uh, best case scenario is a quick death. And Donald Trump is really just a garbage fire of a yeah, president. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we elected him, though, so I give him uh, unwavering support. Because I've always said uh, once 49% or whatever of the American people uh, un unwittingly you elect a monster, you, you get behind it. That's right. And if you thought it was depressing to see the people of the Dakota Pipeline that were just trying to protect people's water, nothing more uh, thoroughly uh, mind-bending than watching people just stand up against tanks 
and mm. drones of tear gas. And, that is and, right. Oh, but can I just really say an editorial about the, the preachers that Trump picks? Uh, lay it down. The American he, here's people the thing. want to hear this. Trump picks the dumbest preachers. If you're going to pick preachers, update your references, dude. Robert Jeffers was like part of like, there was that whole family I think was like part of multiple wives stuff. They're, they're anti-Semites. They think that Hitler was part of God's plan. Stop picking like terrible, like obviously all of them are hokey religious weirdos. But, but stop picking the dumbest possible preachers. Yep. You're blowing it, dude. That is right. And by blowing it, I mean leading our country <laughs> forward Jason, into a garbage fire. Which, and I've always said, whatever the vision of the monster is, I will help that monster to get it. Uh, if, if, our, if our elected president wants to dismantle <laughs> our union, he should be allowed to do it. Uh, that is what it means to be elected president. Now, Robert Jeffers, what a wonderful man. Uh, truly a humanitarian we can all get behind. I, uh, I just think that he's like, Trump's like, oh, I got an idea. I'll say that Billy Graham's cool. Billy Graham was like 98 when he died. He's also like pro Pat Robertson, whatever. It's like, dude, get new preachers. Hook up with Osteen. Hook up with, uh, who else is hot right now, Jay? Yeah, Olstein is super hot, because you know that I loved it when he wouldn't open his church to the flooding victims in Houston. Yeah. I have a lot of respect for with... preachers yes. that refuse to follow even the most basic tenets of problem. what that, that cool dude Jesus was saying, which is like, party and have it take care of each other. That's all Jesus got going on. You're talking about movies, Andy. It's Jaguar movies, and of course we spoil the movies. This yes. one, we're not going to be, a couple weeks ago we spoiled Avengers. Yep. It was a big swath to come at you to just tell you everyone dies. That's Black right. Panther, Spider-Man, Nick Fury, uh, Colby Smulders' character, all the people, they freaking die. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, we're going to spoil Game Over on Netflix with that crazy crew from Workaholics. Great. Okay? Adam Devine, Anders Holm, and Blake Anderson. Okay, here's what happens at the end. Yes. They definitely win. There's no surprise. Uh, right. The game is over, and they win. Uh, They're a bunch of hapless... Um, hotel maids, if you will, okay. and they keep getting excuse for waiters. And uh, at the end of the film, uh, they kill the bad guy. So really, nothing new here. Um, the uh, no Shyamalanian twist. <sighs> well, oh, there is, is that there is a part, right here. This is him. That little dog that the hip hop guy, um, the sh the uh, God, the guy yeah. that they're trying to get the money from. His dog does explode, uh, and that is disgusting. A small dog will explode. But back to the beginning of the show, yeah. Peppers, the little dog, Chip. Chip the dog, thank you, he exploded this morning too in a drive-by shooting. It's all connected. And then, he, and then after he was shot, his body exploded. It's, just, it's a perfectly scripted program. We're about 41 minutes into it. We do a callback to something that happened at four minutes. Every 37 minutes, what you're going to get is a callback. This is another dead dog. This right. beautiful dog died years ago. That's the illusion. It's a lot like a Star Wars situation where you, you put it's turned on its ear because this dog hasn't been alive in 40 years. Picture okay. this dog sitting on your lap. You're petting its head. It's a gorgeous dog. It's a beautiful dog. First so soft, and it turns out the dog was dead the whole time in a Shyamalanian twist. The dog is dead. The dog you thought was your friend was dead the whole time. That's Andy. right, Jay. And that is actually one of the first Ann Geddes photos of all time. You know Ann Geddes from her very creative baby photos. Before she did babies, it was all puppies. She would put a puppy in a watermelon and say, look at this little honeydew seed. Yep. So it, it was a treat. Everyone loved it. And the little dogs, there they are. Two more dead dogs they, right they here. They were put inside fruit. They were put inside a gourd and a pumpkin during Halloween time. Yeah. And then Anne would just snap away. And then she thought to herself, wait a second. If I could do this with dogs, how about babies? Yep, and then of course she moved to the elderly and she was putting centenarians into, into large, giant, monstrous gourds and taking these really erotic images of people's grandparents. Yeah. It was just, it's weird. All we're saying is, it's time for the crime report. That's right. In Game Over, man, there's a bunch of cool cameos. Joe McHale, you know. Joe Steve, McHale from Steve Tom o, Soup? Steve-O gets shot in the head, yeah. Steve-O from Jackass? Yep, he gets yep. shot in the head. It's all a lot of fun. But here we're back in the crime report, and nothing more serious than crime in Denver, because as Jay has wanted to tell you, it's a jungle out there. Yeah, today we're talking about car theft, Andy. Oh my gosh. If I see one more gentleman using a rusty coat hanger to get a Honda open down at 14th and Larimer, mm -hmm. I'm going to lose my mind, Jay. Just this morning, just on 
time I drive here, and bear in mind I'm coming from Westminster, one of the more dangerous areas of all around. Yes. Uh, I had three Westminster. different people attempt to carjack me, as you know. And me, I'm always carrying. I just, all you have to do, you want to know number one way to prevent a carjacking, Andy? Tell me, Jay. Pull out your loaded gun and cock it. People will walk away from you. Good guy with a gun. I prevented so, eight crimes just yesterday. They say it's a lie. They say it's a myth. Here's something uh, you but know. I'm living proof that more everyone, everyone, Andy, and I'm saying over the age of 13. Now, once you're in high school, I want you to have a loaded weapon. This is a perfect scenario. This is exactly what Jay's talking about. Yes. He's out in Westminster. He's going to like a Brugger's Bagels, maybe a Qdoba. No. He's getting something. <laughs> That's not what Jay eats, but for the sake of the per bit. I eat Brugger's Bagels and I also eat Qdobas. Okay, great. So here's the thing. If they, if someone comes at you, Jay, the big reveal here is he's not going to show you. No. But Jay has a gun. He has three guns yes. on him right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a quick spin. There are three guns. If I frisked him, I will not fear a, steal a single firearm. Yeah. But I promise you, Jay has three guns on him right now. If you're coming up on Jay and his Pacifica, yeah. dude, he will... He will not hesitate to let lay a fool on his back. This is my uncle. He taught me a lot of different things about surviving and survival and the different ways of, of just making it through. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, the reason we do our show at Denver Open Media, and a lot of people don't know this, CBS, NBC, ABC, all of them approach us. All of them have metal detectors. Denver Open Media is just a swinging door. I'm able to come in That's right. just in any sort of way. It's no problem. Jay has a Gatling gun on Once again, only for protection now. All right, this is not a good guy. We're in a good guy with the gun scenario. If you've okay? ever been to a shooting range, throw out everything you know. Get in, like, go to the shooting range and start talking to the people there. Get into the community where they can tell you where the sh secret shooting range is. Because I'll tell you, there's somewhere that you could uh, aim a heavy artillery at, at a Volkswagen. And boy, it's a satisfying experience. And I did miss a call, Andy. I'm worried it's one of our many viewers. Why don't you so call the listener I'm going to call them back. This is a San Antonio number. Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? Oh, is this a speed on speaker or... This is where the Jaguar travels. No, this, is, this is a call from San Antonio. That's right. Here, let me put you on speakerphone, sir. We're going to see who we've got here. Give me just a moment while we get you live here with the Jaguar boys. Now, we are looking at a live look of San Antonio while we talk to this caller. This is exactly what Texas looks like. Here's our live studio audience enjoying the feed. That's right. I'm going to get down here with them, too. Jay, We're all going to have a moment Jay together. To get, Andy, why don't you join us with yeah, the... Yeah, uh, I think it's important. Oh, no, I, can be, I can be like a giant here. There you go. And now, caller, can you hear me? Caller, are you you here? I am here. I am here this morning. And that is great. And uh, caller, what's your name now? Who are you today, caller? Thanks for tuning in. John Rummery. John Rummery, great. And are you, are you calling from San Antonio, Texas, or did you just get one of those oh. burner phones? Uh, I just got one of those, those phones. I just got one of those phones. I'm from the Springs. I'm a, I'm a comic from the spring. Oh, you're a stand-up comedian. Uh, the, my oh. first instinct, obviously, to hang up, because I'm going word you're going to launch into one We're of your to bits. Hang out, John. We get it. You do comedy. That's right. Uh, our studio audience is loving this interaction, John. Are you tuning in right now? I was on my phone, and you called. I know. Oh. Uh, technology is, is crazy. Pro. That is a pro. I will not take the call during the... Anyway, well, John, we just wanted to personally thank you. Me and Andy wanted to thank you for tuning in and so just much. say, you know, God bless. Uh, God That's bless right. you, John. God bless Donald That's Trump. Cross. You That's keep tuning in, and we will see you uh, next That's Thursday on the God. Jaguar Morning Show. I'm going to let you go so you can tune back yeah, in, okay? Dracula. Oh, you're awesome. You guys are awesome. Love your show. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks, caller. We'll see you again. All right. That's thank you. Jaguar experience is about. Let's go live again. Thanks to our studio audience. Thank you to John for calling in. We can't tell you what that means to us, John, that you would take the time to uh, either live with a paper and pencil, write down Jay's number, or just take a screenshot. Whatever you did, you got to Jay's phone, and that's the magic of Jaguar. You know, when we started this show <laughs> upwards of four months ago, I never dreamed that we would be able to connect with so many people. So many people across the world, right. just, and we're all sharing these this life. We're all in the same canoe, 
heading towards the same destination. Yes. The patch is really kicking in. I'm feeling a little non-linear, Andy. That's right. There's a there's a houseboat you're on, and you're drinking a martini. That's right. Because there's a man named uh, Joel there in the back of the bar, and and, and it's it's connected to your boat. But you, you didn't know he was there. But was he there at all? No. You made yourself the martini. You're blacked out. That's right. I would like to point out that if John Rumery had just said the word Baba Booey, he would have won himself a prize package, but he forgot the Jaguar show comes in fast. Thank and you remember, so much. you're going to want to watch every minute so you can participate in all of our fun activities and interactions. You can win your own fun games and prizes. John Rumery, thank you for calling from the Springs on your Texas phone. It is uh, because you're in the Springs. We'll go to you. You're at 66 yeah. right now. Yep. You're going to deal with scattered thunderstorms all afternoon. It's going to be a beautiful morning, so enjoy maybe a, a burrito of some kind. And yeah. in the afternoon, stay cloistered like a nun. Get inside, it's going to be a thunderbolt out there. You know, and in fact, uh, as far as that burrito goes, you buy it, save the receipt, you give it to us on January 1st of 2019, Dangerous. and we will reimburse you. If you have a burrito receipt from March 15th in Colorado Springs, and you save it, and you bring it to the, to the Jaguar boys on January 1st of next year, we will reimburse you for that burrito. This is your Jaguar tax rebate. Do you have a burrito receipt from Colorado Springs today? Yep. Bring it to us January 1st, 2019. We will give you a full reimbursement yep. live on the air. And I will throw in an extra small side of salsa on us. You get it. I will reimburse you for that on December 31st. Well, it's not extra, nor is the burrito. It's all free. Please enjoy our tokens of appreciation. That's you right. call us, you're getting a burrito. You just got to remember to save your receipts. Yes. It's and a good lesson. That's right. So remember, John, if you're tuning in, all of that stuff applies. Let's say you have a Jaguar car and other uses. Yeah. The threats include loss. There's a habitat that's tropical. The Jaguar is on international trade. We're going straight back to Colorado Springs traffic yeah. and then to news. Yeah, we don't. We just like to bounce around like, uh, who are those people? Fish bouncing around the room. Yeah, just the, having a good time. The, the big uh, news story this week, yeah. though, is, of course, the royal wedding, Jay. I can't get enough of this love story. I can't either. The real There's been some funny subplots, too. Apparently, Meghan Markle, the bride-to-be, is estranged from her father. And apparently, Who's not? Exactly. Thank you. True that. <laughs> uh, very real. None and, of our viewers have a good relationship with their father. That's a baseline. There's a reason we all live in Colorado. That's right. <laughs> you just move to the middle and hunker down. Here she is, Meghan Markle. That's what I call Meghan her right Markle, there. Meghan Markle, beautiful young lady. The prince, there he is. But here's the thing. The father-daughter situation is rough. Her half-sister yeah. staged a bunch of photos of her father yeah. uh, showing interest in the wedding and learning about England, like literally holding a book that's like England. And her sister uh -huh. took a picture of it and put it on the internet. It was staged so that Megan would uh, be happy that her father was showing interest in their, their wedding because they don't talk anymore. Well, it'd be crazy. Wow. It'd be crazy to marry into the royal family and then like... Every small piece of your whole life is now up for scrutiny. It, it, like, I guess that's what it is when you become a celebrity, is that just your whole life goes up. You think you can handle that, Andy, or you think you get run over by that truck? I would hate it. It's 600 guests coming to the wedding, not among them Donald Trump. Jay, what do you feel about that? I feel like it is a, uh, a front. Um, I feel snuck. like it is a direct, um, and I, I hesitate to use this word. I don't use it lightly. I feel like it's an attack. On I was going to say, do you feel like this is an act of war, maybe? I think it could be. I think that Donald Trump um, needs to look at what this means uh, before we move forward uh, uh, as far as <laughs> world politics. Yeah. I think this might be a shift. Uh, you know, there's always been an axis of evil, and I'm just wondering if England hasn't joined it. And, and here's the thing. If you're on the channel right now, we know you are. You're seven hours ahead of us. Just hit us up at jaguarmorningshow.com. Mm -hmm. We have a producer standing by that will give us your message, and we'll interact with you live. We know you channel Jaguar heads. When you see a, a Jaguar walking through the channel, it's a hell of a Tuesday. If that is one hell of a Tuesday, when you see a Jaguar on the prowl, through um, the Piccadilly Circus, uh, then you know, you know, unequivocally, you know that you're with them Jaguar boys. Look at all this, look at all this GD information. It's all over. It's so way, much information. There's ways to get t-shirts. Yep, I'm going to pace in front of it so you can read all of it. Just read in time with my pacing. Tuesday from 9 to 11, every mountain time. Every single every mountain, mountain time. time. At the $5 level, you get a Jaguar t-shirt for an additional $5.
You put another $5 on top of that, I'll blow you a kiss. Five more dollars from there, and you're going to get one heck of a good time. That's commercials. We'll be right back. That is a cheap and easy way to get involved. Go get involved. We'll see you after the break. Welcome to Western Sizzlin' Steakhouse at Aurora. Now, you all know our family serves up the best steaks in town at reasonable prices, but that's just the beginning. We've also got Denver's best salad and potato bars. Well, there's a complete meal right here. But for you hearty eaters, we've got some of the best USDA choice steaks in town at some of the best prices. We've got it all at Western Sizzlin' Steakhouse in Aurora. Come on in. Let our family serve your family at the Western Sizzlin' Steakhouse, Parker Road in Havana in Aurora. Listen to what people are saying about Levine. Prices are great. The selection was great. And I like their sales staff at Levine's. They're great. All the prices were very reasonable. The selection is fantastic. The prices are great. I know I can find what I'm looking for every time I come. For the lowest prices, the highest quality, and the best selection. The only place to buy furniture is at Levine's. See our ad in today's Denver Post. Isn't it time you shopped at Levine's? Warning. A formidable creature is at large and roaming about. The Jaguar S-Type. It may well be the best handling car in the world. First observed in London. Next in Paris. Then in Rome. And soon to be seen, prowling the highways of America. The Jaguar S-Type. Capture it. The rewards are magnificent. Don't give me that so-so-so. Introducing Alien vs. Predator for the 64-bit Atari Jaguar. You might not want to play it alone. Ah! Mom. Mom. When friends don't stop friends from drinking and driving, friends die. Drinking and driving can kill a friendship. Celebrate the fifth anniversary of the 16th Street Mall with Channel 4. Okay, okay. There is some confusion vis-a-vis -vis sound. And me and Andy will be doing the rest of it both vocally and in pantomime. Let us know so that everyone hearing. has equal access to the knowledge that we're bringing to you. That's right. We are at 700 Calamath, high atop the 38th floor of the Hamlish building like we always are. It's very confusing. You can Postmates us food at 700 Calamath right now. You're in the middle of the Jaguar Morning Show, the second half of our news, weather, traffic, sports, astrology, travel, movies, and our patented top 10 list. Uh, we've got a doozy for you of a top 10 list. Uh, it's going to change your life. Um, and Jay, right now, we're going to get back into the news. Uh, last Man Standing is back, Jay. Tim Allen, old Buzz Lightyear, back on the airwaves. And I love this show. Always have. Uh, that is a show that stands up for what is right, which is classic American values, okay? Yes. Now, ABC backed off, canceled the show. It had pretty good ratings uh, for a long time, and then it sort of tapered off. They used it as an opportunity to just act old Tim Allen right out of that Disney pie of money. But yeah. guess who picked him up, Jay? Fox, baby. Yeah, but what was funny when ABC asked him, they said, we need to improve our home, you're fired. <laughs> it was such a, just a rude move. So I heard your show is coming back, he said. Yep. And it's great. It's set in Colorado. It's hilarious, guys. If you love to go to Cabela's out by the Denver Improv and like pretend you're in the wilderness because they have a fake waterfall made out of paint, yep. you're going to love this show. Yes. Head out with your family, get a down coat, and maybe four or five rifles. That is right. Uh, they follow all the classic tropes. This show is not breaking new ground. If you just want to sit down with a hungry man dinner and sort of mindlessly watch a show that will not challenge your perceptions 
or your ideas. Once again, this is just a classic show about a white man trying to raise his family and all of the adversity that comes with that. So if you yeah. just want to chill out, man, I don't need, this isn't, you don't need to be scared, all right, America? This isn't dear white people. This I, is just last man standing. You're fine. Jay's right. This show may as well just be called Steven, or I think his character, yes. his character, I think, has a weird name, like Brittany or something like this, but not that. I've seen every episode. But, I couldn't tell you Tim Allen's character. The, it is like a warm bath. All you need to do is just <laughs> settle in and line next up thing the you razor know, blades and jump in. 30 minutes later, it's over, and you just sort of come out of your days. Some of America's greatest actors are doing some of their most exciting work in this show. You've got She's just great over here, now, and, and the leave, other let's sister. Let's leave this up for a second. No, if you could leave it up for one more second. Uh, if we could go back to the nose. If you, you may be saying to yourself, I'm not familiar with Tim Allen. Where do I know him from? Cocaine. That's where you know him from. Right here, this nose bridge that has been inflated over the years because of excessive cocaine use, dating all the way back to when he was arrested, right here in Colorado in the late 70s. That's right, and that's where the values come from. We are in astrology, and right now, right here, it is happening, Andy. Everything is happening today, May 15th. That's right, it's a Taurus's paradise out there, Jay. Mm -hmm. The bulls are running red with the streets of London because yes. the bulls are in the china shop and the bulls have won the championship. That's Right. Six feet. So if, if you are a Taurus right now, you need to get in the streets of Chicago, you need to break some plate glass windows, because today is your day. We just wanted to say thank you. Thank God you. God bless you, Taurus. And Jay, tell us a little bit about where the moon is right now. The moon, as you know in the sky, travels uh, the it travels around the Earth as the, the Earth travels around the sun. Uh, now, there's other planets, Neptune, Venus, and all of them. This is just sort of a crash course in how astrology works. On each day of the year, the planets are aligned in a certain way in relation to the moon. And if you were born today or on this date uh, and 30 years ago, your mode is fixed. And what that means is there's a lot of sort of, um, sort of ki kindnesses and sort of uh, interpersonal uh, struggle that's going to happen. But Tauruses almost always revel in the pleasure of life, and that's what's so great about that. Now, here's something you need to remember. When we talk about the pubis, nothing yes. is more important than taking Venus's lead, which is your moon, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Okay, Venus will lead you. It's the second brightest light in the sky yes. besides our sun. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't know that. Yes. And that's because all that light is coming from a pubis three million light years away. Mm -hmm. That's been destroyed for years. Yes, yes. But that pubis's light is still coming to you into your Taurus, reflecting off the moon, and therefore you're receiving that pubis Venus energy. And and I think the year is so beautiful too, and that everything is is going to be okay. And that's what I want. I want to know. Beautiful. And, quick, and quickly before uh, we leave this segment, I did want to mention that for today your lucky numbers are, of course, twenty three. 42. You got uh, 11, 9, and 26. All right, and if, so. And if you need a bonus number, we're going to give you 227. Yeah, if you are. 227. That is a three digit number, is your bonus number. And if your importance is some task, they choose not to do them. And that's what happens so much, is the truth is they just can't see. They seem so lazy. Taurus. Yes. Taurus, Taurus is very much uh, the uh, kind of our vibe. It's like, why even get involved? Let's just enjoy the day, let sleeping dogs lie. Taurus is really embracing things and let us embrace this traffic break where we tell you it's warm now, but it's going to rain later. That is right. And this is coming from Noah. So you know that the information is accurate. That is the National Archaeological Association of America. <laughs> and that is where the facts are arrive from. All right, look at this Fahrenheit. Look at what's happening in the Dakotas. Yeah, we've got a series. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but the Dakotas are beset with a beetle that is terrifying the, the northeast. And yes. if, you're in, if you're anywhere near Grand Forks, you're just, you probably have a couple beetle wings in your mouth and you're going, because the beetles are everywhere out there. That, those are the Ernestshire beetles, Andy, and they, uh, they arrived in a crate of tomatoes coming up from Georgia. And in Georgia, they're equipped to handle the Germanshire beetles. Uh, in the Dakotas, though, there's a finer tree. It is a softer bark. 
that isn't formulated in the same way that the Georgian trees are formulated to prevent the intrusion of the Gerbershire beetle. That's right. There's a series of beetles, and all you need to know is, if you're out and about today, wear that shawl that has that beetle guard on it. If you take the tag of any clothing, you're going to see, if it doesn't say beetle guard on it, you are at risk for a little bit of light beetle activity. That's right. We just gave you a quick look at our five-day forecast. If you're not keeping up with the Jaguar show, we're not going to slow it down. Down. It doesn't matter to us whether you enjoy yourself. And what an incredible time to be alive. Take a pause and open a book. Yes. Uh, whether it's a Kindle and you're in an electronic type yes. person, or you really just enjoy that tactile sense of the page, we're going to talk to you about books, and we're talking about Jaguar literature every week. That is right. And as you know, I've been reading my Star Trek novel, Andy, and it was oh. written by uh, <laughs> hey, hey, something Weinstein. I forget. Yeah. Uh, it also starts with an H, and there's a one H name Weinstein that I we do not want that to we don't want to acknowledge, but the other one is the guy who wrote the book. Okay. I'll well, check it out later. Uh, anyway, the name of the book is something I don't even remember. I'm reading this book so slow, Andy. My life is going crazy. I'm reading like one page a week. So I'm really, I'm not even going to summarize. I'm just going to tell you what happened on the only page I was able to read. That's right. Go and, ahead, Jay. Okay, so. This is a Star Trek The Next Generation novel. We're not sure which one it is or who wrote it. So I think what happened. There number we one, go. Here's Guy, and obviously she plays a part in the Star Trek novel because she took a minute to talk to Picard about his choices vis-a-vis -vis the alien planet that they're visiting. Here's what happens. Enterprise uh, is, is bringing uh, supplies to an alien planet that is starving. Hope you're uh, taking notes. They get there and uh, they interact with the government, but the government seems corrupt. And the government seems like they have a lot of money and a lot of supplies, so the Enterprise doesn't know why they need that. And then they get kidnapped. Commander, Lieutenant Commander Riker gets kidnapped by the rebel group. Are, there, a, any, are there any Klingons in this? Nope, this is all weird races. I don't know what they look like or act like. Riker gets kidnapped, and, and at first they're like, oh no, the rebels are bad. That's why they kidnapped Riker. But what actually happens is you the rebels are right because the rebels are saying we need to work with Mother Earth. The government, it turns out, made a short-term gain deal. This is the exact cover of the book that I'm reading right here. I have stared at this image for weeks now. I cannot get through this book fast enough. Anyway, these What's are the rebels. What's the lady with the nice hair when she has, like, really long hair? What is it? Dana what? something? Yeah, the doctor. Or Dr. The, Beverly Crusher, Deanna Troy, who are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's what, whoever this lady is. But she's not, she, Deanna Troy's there, but it is not Dr. Crusher, it is Polanski. If you're big Star Trek The Next Generation fans, it is Polanski is the doctor. Anyway, I gotta get through this, Andy. So they kidnapped oh, Riker, God. and it turns out that um, the uh, government uh, has enough money, but the rebels, um, the rebels uh, are actually right, and so Riker gets on their side, and now Picard's gonna mediate, try to bring the rebels uh, together and save the planet. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully I'll get some time to read, and I can finish it out, uh, and I can finish it out and, and tell you the end of it by next Thursday. Next Thursday, the 17th, 9 to 11, that's the next Jaguar. Okay, and here's the thing. I've been growing a Brent Spiner Riker beard for years. Yes. This is my whole look. Big reveal. Riker. Big reveal. This is the, the, the beard that everyone should be growing. Mm -hmm. The Riker. And now we're back to weather because we care about what's happening here and in Dubai, Jay. That's right. And I know what you're saying. Didn't those Jaguar boys mention something about four new segments? We did. It seems like uh, we might uh, we might once again have lied to you. And that's going to be on me. What I like to do is I like to make promises. I like to make huge promises to people and to fans and to the people I care about and then just let them down. I am in an almost continuous state of letting people I care about down and now you, America, are part of that fine tradition that began with my mom and my stepdad and continues through today, right now, to you. Continuing yeah, to disappoint. So if you're out in Elbert County watching us on a, on a burner phone that has a video component, mm -hmm. thank you so much for um, being our agricultural anchor in America, providing us with fresh produce, but also interacting with us live at jaguarmorningshow.com. Please is right. chat with us, whether you're in Elbert County, El Paso, Teller County, uh, uh, what's the name of some other counties? Jefferson, anything. Jefferson please. County, if you're in Adams County, if you've Denver moved County. on into just sort of, uh, if you're in La Junta. Yes, if you're down in like Lamar, that. if you're in Lamar and you're just looking at that water park that they have in the middle of town, waiting for it to open. Maybe that's La Junta, actually. Uh, it doesn't and, matter. 
And La Junta is probably the most beautiful part of Colorado. Hidden gem, hidden gem. You're gonna to wanna to head out to the plains. Head out to the plains. Now I know I done messed up, Andy, because we were not, we, we obviously we've done the research, yes, but, uh, and we are going to bring you yet more Jaguar Awards today. We are doing another uh, pop up awards show. You didn't ask for it. That's why we give it to you. Sometimes yes. you need a little tough love and some spoon fed content. We're back, and it's best of Denver, best of Jaguar. The best uh, taco in Denver, Jay, is obviously, the and people have been talking about it. People, yeah. every uh, it's Tuesday, and so everyone's obviously got. Tacos on the brain. They got tacos on it the is brain. It's Taco Tuesday. And so we are here to announce that the best taco, and this is heavily researched. We have gotten out there. Me and Andy have tried tacos at, at street carts. <laughs> we have had tacos from some of the finest uh, uh, um, uh, uh, carnicerias. Carnicerias. Uh, we have been we have been up and down the front range, and the best taco, of course. Del Taco. Del Taco. That is a fine, fine taco. If you're coming in late at night and you need a, a puke in a public place, mm. there's no better place to do it in the drive-thru of a Del Taco. Full get out of jail free card. Mm. They'll say to your, they'll say, hey, maybe you look like you could use an extra couple tacos, pal, and they'll stuff you three extras with your number seven. That is right. You'll say, is this beef? No. You'll say, is this lettuce? It no. is not. You'll say, is this cheese? No. Oh, God, no. It is not cheese. But together, it adds up and it has the appearance of a and, and to some extent, yes. the smell of, of a taco. And you say to yourself, yes, I'm living life. It's one of those experiences where as a child, you see that plastic fruit on the table and you say to yourself, is that food? And then you look at Del Taco and you sort of say, wait a second, that kind of looks like the plastic fruit on the table, but a taco? They have taken the plastic fruit technology and they've smushed it together with food. And now all you need to know is you just put it in your mouth and then you have some calories and you don't need to know anything else. That is right. That is right. And before we, I could talk about Del Taco's fake food all day, but we have to get down to the next award, Andy. Yes, the next award is, of course, Best Creature at the Denver Aquarium. Not a lot of people talk about this. Mm -hmm. We do have an aquarium. Yes. Favorite creature at the Denver Aquarium, Jay. And this was hard fought because they have fish. They have seahorses. They have dolphins. There's whales there and sharks and there's manatees, Andy, and coral reefs, and they have an orca, Andy, and there's sea turtles and seaweed and different, but the best, the best, Andy, and this was hard fought. Tell me. The seals, Andy. The seals and the, the seals won it out. That is right. There's a huge seal exhibit, larger larger and more ornate than even anyone could have imagined. And I do have to warn you, the exhibit is called Sealing Their Fate, and most yeah. of the exhibit is old dead seals, yes. stuffed taxidermy style, uh, inter intermixed with art about art from our armed forces that yes. goes in in the dark of night and gives us freedom and kills people like Osama Bin Laden yes. so that we can continue to eat Del Taco's fake taco. And that exhibit you, is closed. It's been closed for weeks now, uh, but the voting came in a couple months back. No one's been able to see it. We're hoping to get it back open, but the Navy SEALs deployed out to uh, the, uh, maybe, I forget where they were going. It's hard to keep up. So look Donald out. Trump's got a lot of irons in the fire when it comes to starting skirmishes all around the country. And so we're hoping to get some of those uh, those Navy SEALs back into that exhibit and also to our shouts out to those dead baby SEALs. Thank you for to the SEALs for everything you do. Thank you to the uh, anthropomorphized SEALs that wear clothing like a beret from Street Fighter. Um, we really appreciate everything you do, and look out Chicago, we're coming for you. The Shed Aquarium is on notice. The Downtown Aquarium has a series of uh, Dead Sea Life and American Heroes. So look out, it's $10, and please enjoy with your family. And while we're on the subject of enjoying things with your family, Andy, it's time for another report of sports. That's right, everyone always wants our, our hot takes on athletics. Yep. Look at me and Jay, you watch that first segment where we work out for 30 minutes, you say to yourself, how can I pick their brain and do what they're doing? 
And we appreciate that. You can communicate with us at jaguarmorningshow.com. Right now, you can type in jaguarmorningshow.com. There is a chat function, and we can chat. But as for sports, Jay, the Warriors took the first game in the Western Conference Finals last night. They're up 1-0 on the Rockets, and the Celtics, without Kyrie Irving, decidedly beat uh, LeBron James. So it is currently Celtics up 1-0, Warriors up 1-0. And so are we in the final throws of it, and then the yes. next grouping will be the finals, right? Yes, this is the Eastern and Western Conference Finals, Jay. And here's a series of some players in, that are both in and not in the playoffs. Okay, um, tell me again, because I'm so high, Andy. Yes, please. Who are the teams in the one division over okay. here? In the east, east of the Mississippi, you've got the Boston Celtics and the Larry Bird. Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James. That's right. It's Larry versus LeBron, and okay. the tale is old as time. And so far, Larry is winning out. The Larry Birds and the LeBron James, that is the Cavaliers and the Boston Celtics. Here, a lot of news programs are going uh, are gonna to talk over some people. I like to slow the sports segment down yes. and say, break it down so that I can understand it. So, so that a normal teams. person, two teams in the East, Larry Bird with the Boston Celtics right here. Yep. LeBron James with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And one of those teams will be going to the NBA Finals. Is that That's right? That's right. We, like, we don't like to analyze the game so much. We like to pull it back and say, wait, 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 wait. The deep breath. Who are the teams? Well, no. Slow down. <laughs> I know you want to oh, get great. right past. You think you could just say the names of the teams and move past it in the actual news, Andy. And I'm telling you that we have to slow it down. Let's move over to the Western Conference. The Western Conference is the Golden State Warriors, which is a California team in the San Francisco, Oakland, Bay Area. Golden State Warriors, have they ever had anyone famous that I would know like Larry Bird? Yeah, uh, yes, That's uh, Chris Mullen is probably their Not most famous. famous the, enough the guy with the buzz well. cut, the white guy with the buzz cut from the 80s. No, Tim Hardaway, remember him? The uh, killer Is Cross he a comic in Denver? Yes, Tim Hardaway is doing a lot of good stuff at open mics. Thank Tim you. Hardaway, Thank okay, you Golden State Warriors. Salad joke, Tim. And then the Rockets are of Houston, Texas. Okay, Houston Rockets, Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem Olajuwon of the Houston Rockets. Versus the Golden State Nuggets are in the Western Conference. Golden State Nuggets up one game, right? And we unwrapped it for you so that you could have it Christmas morning. We're now in the Jaguar religion section because it's time to talk about love, truth, light, and hope. Yeah, a lot of the Jaguar show is pretty centered on matters of the flesh, matters of this world. Uh, and so what we'd like to do is about 10, 15 or so, slow it down a little bit and bring you a little knowledge about that big man upstairs. I'm not talking about your neighbor, talking about the Lord God. That's right, the Lord our God above, and Jay likes to read from the Bible because it fills his soul just like it'll fill your soul. Whether you're at an old budget host inn in Arizona, in the middle of nowhere, wondering for the safety of your belongings in your car outside, or you're here with us now, the Bible is always the choice. And if you have it available, get yourself a little thimble full of Pinot Grigio and a couple of Ritz crackers and just have a little bit of the blood and a little bit of the body yeah. while I read to you from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And uh, the word of the Lord is as follows. And God is able to bless you. What's the verse again? Corinthians uh, chapter 9 verse 8 that is it's, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 and it's such well, 2 Corinthians is such a beautiful verse and people forget that chapter 9 especially and verse 8 what that is is and I'll speak to it right now and I'll let it speak to you um, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 is and God is able to bless you abundantly. Hell yeah. So that in, in things of all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. And a lot of this, when the, when the Bible yes. speaks of good work, Yes, Bible. Uh, to me and Andy, that only means one thing. Jaguar. All right, and and God, God's on our side. You can, I can feel God in this studio today, Andy. That's right. And this this reading in Corinthians, just like most of the Corinthians, of course, this is Second Corinthians. This the yeah. first nine Corinthians are yeah. the real bangers. That's yeah. where you're gonna find the meat. Yeah. But uh, this is talking about abundance, so it's nice. Um, as uh, people south of the border might say, to see the la abundanza yes. of the Bible. 
put and, them in, in a Corinthians package. And you know that this verse of the Bible is hot because it's being mentioned by Migos. It's being mentioned it by is. Drake. It uh, it's being mentioned, um, Bad Baby even referenced 2 Corinthians, a different verse, but she's there. Um, even Iggy Azalea, and so, um, earlier this week she did a very popular Instagram on, post of full thong, and in the post you see her butt and then the quote under it, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. So uh, hey, Instagram heads, if you live your life like it's an Instagram story, you're gonna want to jump on the Corinthians bandwagon now. You're yes. thinking to yourself, wait a second, this is some Bible hooey. No. no. It's the biggest thing in yes. social media. Time to get that Corinthians tattoo before it's too late. That's right. Only you can prevent forest fires. Let's take a, Corinthians speak to that. Let's take, let's take a quick talk about what's going to happen tonight. Yeah, not on the east, eastern plain in Flagler. It's going to be hot and dry, but at night, Jay, uh-oh, that's what you asked about. A little and this is exciting news, Andy. Tonight, it's going to be near normal low temperatures. No, that no. means nothing too high, nothing too low. It's going to be so near to normal. Now, I do want to point out, if you do live in a canyon, because of the amount of rain that there is, the, the uh, ground has been dry for some time. So that influx of water, as someone who's had their house washed away in a mudslide, you're going to want to take my advice. Uh, abandon ship now. <laughs> Pack up what is uh, of importance to you, put it in a truck, go to a motel for the night. Your house is in jeopardy, folks. Yeah, you done built your ark on a sandbar, and the waters are going to wash it away, and you will be left with High nothing. And, and that's fine. I when? want you to have nothing. People have too much stuff. The Tyler Durden said it best. And yes, the things so. you own end up owning you. So let your house wash down the river. Leave all your memories in the house and let them wash down the river. The clothes of your children, throw them <laughs> in the garbage. Uh, the teeth, your children's teeth that meant so much, your children's throw it teeth. all away. <laughs> As your you know, we the news. We, we have so much news, we can't really stop it. Um, there has been a fervor at the Cannes Film Festival over Lars von Trier's new film, Jay. Yeah, it's called The House That Jack Built. And apparently it is disturbingly graphic. People are walking out. Hundreds of people walked out of the premiere and people all immediately went to Twitter using words like vile and disgusting and horrifying. And you know what's funny? It makes me want to see it. Yeah. And, and when, like, if, I don't think people understand social media. People are like, "Oh, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share this video of this lady doing a parody of Childish Gambino's This America. Yeah. I'm gonna share it and get it 300 views. That's how mad I am. That person's getting paid. Uh, when you walk out of a theater seeing a movie and then you tweet that the movie was absolutely the most disgusting thing you've ever seen." And you think that's going to prevent people from seeing it? No, sir. When you have a movie with a guy directed named Lars, you're in real trouble. That's yep. somebody whose parents named their uh, kid after the drummer from Metallica. That's how old yeah. we are now. Lars von Trier was uh, a, a baby. His mom was only 15 when she had and, and Lars was her favorite drummer. And so now you've got this director who's got this sense of entitlement. Yep. He takes creative chances yep. sexually. They're, they're disgusting. Yep. And the people in Cannes aren't having it, and they're French, so it must be pretty effed up. Yes, if people in Cannes are walking out, I mean, that stuff's crazy. French. We're talking like a solo situation, yeah. 120 days in Sodom. Uh, we're talking about- they're French. Uh, yeah, for God's sakes, people, they are French. This is the artwork. And I tell you, it's disturbing. I look at this artwork and I'm like, yeah, that movie's going to freak me out. Yeah. But I want it. I yeah, want it. It Andy. sort of gives you that, hey, wait a second. Is this an it clown house, but all over because of the red? Yeah. It's like, is this a red nose that's been hammered and and just chopped into a house shape? Yep. And that's the level of terror we're about to experience? And this I think, the yes. House. And you know what? The French... Uh, are afraid, so you should be afraid because their armpits smoke cigarettes. And if they're afraid, you've got a problem. Yep. And Lars von Trier, he said, do I want violence or do I want graphic sexual content? And you know what like, he said? He was like, clap that thing out. And then he's been delivering it to you like a 
like a roll of the all you got to do is look at this shot right here and you're like yeah that's gonna be really freaked out you man. get a, some crazy marty, marty schottenheimer glasses you put a white man in a shower it's gonna scare anybody uh you know it, it's a problem you don't want to expose your pubis to this film if no, you no, do no. take your pubis out during the film there it has been known to burn because that's what lars von trier does something to the film that treats it that burns the pubis during the viewing and this brings us it's actually a perfect it's a perfect time to segue go back to your favorite segment that you always ask about the top 10 list the top 10 list ladies and gentlemen and, and coming straight off of lars von trier today we are doing the top 10 Horror movies of all Ooh, time. This scary, is one. Uh, scary stuff. It gets the nipples pinging. It gets the gets the pelvis open. You, you, a couple of you emailed us and said, "Don't wait to Halloween. Give us the frights now." Yep. We said, "Okay." That's Number right. ten is Number of 10. course Ghoulies. Remember when that little uh, ghoulie oh, pops out of the toilet? That was one of my biggest fears as a child, and no, it's no wonder that ghoulies cracked the top ten. That is right. It makes a lot of sense. They had those needle teeth. Anything coming up out of the toilet into your butt is terrifying. Shh. That's the ghoulie. That's Number ghoulie. nine, That's and, I, and I'm not sure that you're ready for it. It is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Not Ooh. the first one, the weird second one with Matthew McConaughey and a script that makes no sense. Ooh. And it is terrifying. This it's a one real is nail directed What's by Mark Misspell and not the original. That's a classic. You want that new terrible one. Number eight is, of course, the movie I, I've referred to it before as a terrifying one for my youth. Troll, Jay. Do you remember? Troll. Troll. This is not Troll's first appearance on the Jaguar <laughs> Morning Show, and surely not the last. No. That is a film to end all films. I'm coming straight with number seven. Lucky though, seven. What is it, Jay? Number it seven. It is film. Signs by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> when that alien walks through uh, at, at the back of the kids' birthday yes. party. That's freaky. It was and it freezes on it and it's looking at you. It's, this is exactly it. And we did spoil this movie once. Swing away, Johnny, with the water. What's number six? That's right. It is no surprise. He's back. Pinhead. Hellraiser is number six. He has a bunch of needles sticking out of his yep. face. And it's by choice. Now that's a committed guy. That's right. And as you know, I did lose my virginity to the movie Hellraiser 3. I think it says a lot about who I am. Number five, we're halfway there. Number five, of course, is Stanley Kubrick's classic, The Shining. Now, many of you are saying to yourself, that's more of a thriller. That's more, that's less of a psycho, that's more of a psychological situation than actual horror. And I'd say, you need to get your head on straight. That would be straight up terrifying. That's right. But what I can talk about all day. Andy, what's number four? Number four is, of course, We've all been thinking it, Hellraiser 2. Hellraiser 2, it's just a little better than the first one. It, and we are working our way through it. Yeah, Hellraiser 2, it's like the Empire Strikes Back. That's why it's a little higher on the list. Yeah, when you're hell bound, you gotta be Hellraiser 2. Number three, of course, is no Gremlins. Gremlins. I know what you're saying, that's just a fun romp. No, uh, when they get water on them, when they start eating after midnight, Everything goes straight to hell. You may think this cute little guy is problem free, but you'd be wrong. He's a demon underneath. Yep. Hey, it's number two, and that's why as we climb the charts, of course, Creepers. The movie Creepers. A lot like Ghoulies, bigger, hairier monsters with like sort of a, a skull it, really. That is right. Uh, they are showing you the things you want to know. And number one, Andy, and I think everyone sees it coming. Yes. Of number course, one. is... A movie that needs no introduction, Absolutely Andy. Absolutely not. You know what? I think I'm going to tell them what it is. It's the number one horror movie of all time. Of all and time. We've got out of time. we got to head over Tommy to Tommy Knockers. Oh, Tommy Knockers. He did get it in under the wire. Tommy Knockers. Stephen King. Stephen King. He had two entries on this tree. one. Tommy Knockers weather coming at you fresh. That's right. Uh, Pueblo, it's going to be 72 all day, and then at night you're going to be cooled off with a hot shower. And if you're at Boca Raton right here, or the Continental Gap, or if you're in Kazoo, it's going to be in the 60s for most of the if day. If you're in Steamboat Springs having one of those craft brews, you better head down to Florida, because there's a hurricane coming. That's right. The water is going to get so crazy today, Andy, and people are really going to lose their dang money today, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and if you're out on a fan boat right now, you can watch on Jaguar Morning morningshow.com so many different um bayou billy types down on their fan boats 
or maybe just pushing their way through a swamp and watching mm -hmm. the show on their handheld device. Thank you for watching on jaguarmorningshow.com. Yeah, they're just reaching their hands down into holes in the river, and then you let a big Whoa, old catfish no. come right up on top of you, grab on, and then you reach down into it, you just yank it right out the water. Yeah, you? and maybe you're on a trip with your family, and you're questioning your marriage, yeah. and you're saying to yourself, I'm going to send a secret email to Gladys in accounting, because Gladys, it's time for us to do some calculations of our own. Yeah, hi Gladys. I was hi. thinking about you, uh, and you type out the word boobs on your calculator, oh. and, you, and you subtly turn it Gladys, around. Gladys, we hear you. We are picking up the subtle hints, and we are interested. It is time saver, money saver traffic. We are saving you time and money. Let's get back out onto the live cams. This is Colfax right now. The sun hasn't come up because it is Denver. Some parts of the city will see a little sun exposure. You'll see that in some cams. And then other where it's dark as a doornail. Did that is think? right. And sometimes the sun comes out and in other times <laughs> it doesn't. We need to quick look. Okay. As you know, hundreds of dead alpacas clogging yeah. up the down, the, here. down all in this area over here. Uh, Idaho Springs, you can get about halfway down to Mount Evans. But you get right near that area, and there is bloody guts everywhere. People Andy. have been asking us about it. It was a it was a series of rare Surrey alpacas. Oh. That's the the real tragedy. It wasn't a dime a dozen alpaca we could go down and get at any breeder. This one came from south of the border, That's and that right. is a federal crime because the North American herd sire is closed. Uh, by the Food and Drug Administration. That's right. The FDA has cracked down on a many of the rare alpaca breeds, and there's only a certain number allowed into the United States in any given year, and we had reached that quota. And to hear, Andy, to hear that 87 amazingly rare alpacas have all died uh, in just one horrific turn the is just absolutely scary. This is one more commercial break, and then we'll be right back with Wake Up With Jay. We're coming at you with Wake Up With Jay. It's been a heck of a show so far. We have 30 minutes left with you. We'll see you after the break on the Jaguar Morning Show. Music segments, stereo, authoritative news, weather, sports, and traffic coverage of AM radio, great personalities, a great signal with no FM signal fade. We're Colorado's first country FM on AM, 56 KLZ. Hi, I'm Paxton Mills, and this is my friend, the Kim Chicken, and we'd like to invite you to attend Kim's 85 Scream in the Dark Haunted House. Get out of here. Scream in the Dark begins October 10th and runs through November 2nd at Celebrity Sports Center, 888 South Colorado Boulevard. Kim's Scream in the Dark Haunted House benefits the Kim Good Neighbor Fund, part of the Friends of Man charity. Scream in the Dark has over 15 rooms of fright, featuring live snakes, tarantulas, and terrifying surprises. Warning, Scream in the Dark may be yours. Goodbye now. <coughs> if From Denver, Colorado, to Little Rock, Arkansas. More people buy their waterbed from Big Sur Waterbeds than any other waterbed store in America. This is the very best selection that we found anywhere. The prices were lower here at Big Sur. Isn't it time you made the switch to Big Sur? The Westbrook with mirror and double cupboards is just $199.99. They really are better. Big Sur Waterbeds, America's largest at 5150 North Federal and I-225 in the Valley next to Levin's. To improve the classic Jaguar sedan, we studied it carefully. Gave it more glass, a crisper roofline, a more fluid shape. Jaguar Series 3, a great classic refined. Inside, superb leather seats, adjustable lumbar support, rare walnut dash and cruise control. Jaguar XJ Series 3, the first new Jaguar sedan in a decade. You wear it well. The last time you had a thick, juicy, charboiled steak? Well, right now, Ranchers Beef is celebrating their grand opening in Aurora. You can get 160 pounds of USDA choice beef for only $1.29 a pound. So now's the time to stock your freezer with quality you can taste. Loins, ribs, plates, and flanks. Listen, these guys are going hog wild. With this purchase, we'll give you 80 pounds of pork and poultry absolutely free. That's 20 pounds of fresh fryers, 20 pounds of lean pork chops, 20 pounds of lean sliced bacon, and 20 pounds of smoked ham free. With Ranchers Beef, easy payment plan, you can get all this 240 pounds of beef, pork, and poultry for just $34.40 per month for six months. Now hold on. That's not all. For the first 50 customers calling 
checking in, receiving cutting time, and opening a 90-day account with purchase, we'll throw in 60 free steaks. That's 20 ribeyes, 20 New York strips, and 20 filet mignons. Call Ranchers Beef now at 680-8555. Ranchers Beef, 15132 East Hampton and Chambers, south of I-225 in the Parker exit. Major credit cards are accepted. Our 90 days, same as cash, no interest. Are we live? Okay, okay. I'm here, but I'm mad. I'm here, but I'm mad, and I'm feeling worked up, and I'm feeling crazy, Andy. I'm feeling freaking crazy this morning, Andy. I'm feeling like everything is spiraling out of control, Andy. I feel like I'm losing my mind, Andy. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I gotta make a point here, Andy. I gotta make a point, and that point is the only thing easier than comedy is poetry. The only thing easier than comedy is poetry. Robert Frost, Howard Zemeckis, Woody Allen, uh, Tutomo, uh, the singer from the band The Waitresses, E. e. Cummings, Allen Ginsberg, for instance, in his poem, Howl, where everything goes crazy. Let me give you another example, Andy. Henry Wordsworth Longfellow. Uh, yet more examples. You're demanding of great poets. Tina Fey, the great poet Tina Fey, uh, Steve Martin, all of these people. You know why they wrote poetry, Andy? Because poetry is easier than comedy, Jay. That's right. The only thing easier than comedy is poetry. Only thing easier than comedy is poetry. Now, some of these people, Andy, they're looking, they're looking a wee bit confused out there, Andy. They're out in TV land. You're saying, why did I get told this about comedy and poetry? And let me break something down for you, because I want to give you an example right now. Because some of you people in this world are so stupid so that stupid. you have to have a point pounded into your head. I'm going to pound that point in right now. Here's a little poem, Andy, I like to call Tusk. Tusk. Moonlight, warm ancient moonlight, moonlight pours down, now, find yourself, find your mother, eye tooth, eye tooth, eye tooth, bitten, ancient fish, there is a color, there is a sound, there is a reason. Every day, every day, every day, now, go find me, go find mine, go find home, 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 home. Turn. 
You are now. You are me. You are always. You are forgiven. 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 Now is when you blow it. Now is when you succeed. And I think that what I've proven here, Andy, yes. is that the only thing easier than comedy is poetry. The only thing easier than the comedy is poetry. Okay. A lot of you people have a lot of opinions on what you think the Jaguar show should be. Hi, uh, we are hearing you. We know that you have opinions. It's getting to us. It's getting to us. You are voicing them, but we are here We're to hearing. tell you. We are here to tell you what the Jaguar Morning Show is, and it starts like this. I'll tell you what the Jaguar Morning Show is. I'll tell you what the Jaguar Morning Show is. Pubises. 
Miss America. It's a show with a double wide trailer in the back of it. God. Where we live. And as we have a secret network of underground tunnels that we can tell you about. And as <laughs> the adrenaline of the fall wears off, Andy, yes. certain parts of me are beginning to hurt yes. and are starting to experience what it must be like for some of our viewers. The trauma that Jay is experiencing is very similar to the trauma that you have when we over edit the show. When yes. you're having a, a borderline epileptic uh, situation in your own equilibrium, it's it's our fault and we know that and we're not sorry. I'm not we, sorry. We want you to feel like it's like Jay's skull rattled in, his brain rattled in the skull a little bit and now he's sweating heavily. That is right, and it is not a good sweat. It is the sweat of someone who might have broken something inside of them, and yet continues, by the grace of God, to continue to bring you the Jaguar Morning Show. Got, what is it? I'll tell you what the Jaguar Morning Show is. I'll tell you what the Jaguar Morning Show is. It's only one thing. It's a show. And it's in the morning. All of it is in the title. You are overthinking this. Yes, I hurt myself. Yes, I am out of control. According to the FCC, yes, the FCC will be talking about this in a meeting. Do we need to talk to him? Should we have the armed services? He did talk about having multiple guns on him. Yes. What kind of situation have we found ourselves in? Anne is on her way to the studio right now. It has gone off the rails because you want to know why? I'm telling tell you what the Jaguar Morning Show is. I'm telling you what the Jaguar Morning Show is. I'll tell you what. Please. I want to go take a drink of Monster, but I'm scared, Andy. You can do it without eating it super hard. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Jay has CTE right now, and in about 10 years, we need to be worried about him driving his Porsche into a tree. Dude, if I make it to 10 years from now, we are living in a GD miracle world. We are in overtime right now. This is all bonus. That's what you need to realize. Yes. See I should have been dead years ago, all right? But somebody upstairs said, no, no, that's not how it's going to be. See? They said, no, no. That's not how it's going to be. They said, no, no. That's not how it's going to be. And so spoke the Lord, and he was talking about me. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the Jaguar Morning Show is. I'll tell you what the Jaguar Morning Show is. I'm actually going to tell you what's not. No, no, no. This ain't your grandmother's morning show. This ain't live with Regis and Kelly. We're not playing full-size checkers. Get down with it. Get down with it, because we're going right back now. Every time you look into a mirror, that's the Jaguar Morning Show. Every time you look into the eyes of your child, that is the Jaguar Morning Show. Every time you sit down to breakfast with your family, there is an almost continuous stream of people trying to fix what I destroyed with my fall. And now no one's going to be able to fix this knee. I'm going to be at mobile tomorrow. Roger, we got to host video games tomorrow at Mutiny Information Cafe at 7 o'clock. Is that right? I'm getting a thumbs up. Me and Roger will be hosting a video games tournament at Mutiny Information Cafe. I wouldn't say go to it or don't. It doesn't matter. It's just information. It's tomorrow night at Mutiny. That's right, it is just information, but you do have that. I will be in a wheelchair. I will be in a full body cast. That is what I've done. Parts of me are numbing up. Parts of me are becoming non-functional. I do want to point out that does not stop you from still touching Jay. Yes. You still in that body cast, especially now, he needs your tactile senses and your love. Uh, I wanted to ask, are you familiar with the tenets of Reiki? Because that is what you're going to want to do. Right now, a lot of people are saying, Jay, you're fuzzing out, man. You're really fuzzing out, man. Why are you fuzzing out? And to those people, I say, fix your eyes, dude. <laughs> fix your eyes, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Fix your eyes, dude. Hey, 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 dude
gonna tell you. That's how we do it on the Jaguar Morning Show. I forgot how that chorus went, Andy. It doesn't matter, Jay. There isn't a chorus. Now. There isn't a chorus. Your There's life. There was a chorus. Your life isn't a We've song. We've been dead for 20 years. Every single person is dead. We've been dead forever. This is just a waiting point now, before we launch off to a little place I like to call the the afterworld. The afterworld, we're all gonna have a party in the afterworld. A lot of people say, I'm so scared of death, Andy. Yeah, they have a lot of death anxiety, don't they, Jim? They do, they say, oh, my number one fear, public speaking, and I get that. I would never want to speak in public. That's so scary. It's so much pressure. And so I totally get your fears, they're justified, and I empathize. But the number one fear, of course, Andy, yes. is death. They're worried about what's going to happen when they the die. The big D. The big old, you're going to take a big old D right up your keister when it comes time for you to pass on. And where are you going to go, you say? What's going to happen? Where are time? you going to go? Are you going to go to Canada? Yeah, that's a possibility. No one knows. Are you going to go to uh, Zebulon 6? Zebulon 6, are you going to join up with your brethren on the old creepy doll face with the candle burning? Or are you going to find yourself in the H-E double hockey sticks? Mm. What is time for you to do right now? Right now, today, mm. you're gonna look inside your soul and say, have I been the best person I can be? I wanna know from you. Have you made somebody feel loved today? Have you looked someone in the eye and said, I care about you today? Have you made the world a better place for even one person? Because if you have, I want you to know that I think everything's gonna be all right and you're going to be able to find a great place in the, in the afterlife, in the afterworld. There's a lot of people chilling in the afterworld. Like, it's an afterworld. It's the afterworld, man. It's going to be like a really kick-ass party, dude. Yeah, it's like all the afterworld glasses you can handle, all the afterworld hats you can handle, yep. all the afterworld big, cool James Brown capes. Yeah. Anything you want in the afterworld, you can express yourself in a fashion sense because it's the afterworld. So you could look like um, one of those guys from the Matrix 2 that's wearing all white suede. Yes. And maybe you could grow white dreadlocks and then but then have black chest hair and then like a purple treasure trail. Yeah, there's gonna be so much branded merchandise in the afterworld. Yes. People don't understand. You're gonna be able to get afterworld keychains and afterworld coffee mugs. You're gonna yes. be able to get afterworld uh, mouse pads. People say you yeah, people use mouse pads up and down the avenue, Jay. And you're gonna get, you're gonna be able to get. People are uh, building ho reclaimed houses out of mouse pads. That's right. Uh, there are, there's a whole lumber section in the afterworld. If you wanted to say, get yourself an afterworld hammer, afterworld nails, and some afterworld lumber, and build yourself an afterworld house, you can do that. Yeah, if you're somebody who likes to knock around the two by fours and a bandsaw, great news. The afterworld is a woodworker's dream. Yeah, Bob Via was personally consulted. Ah, yeah. I, 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 Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. What they did is they flew him up I to yeah. heaven in an Elon Musk SpaceX rocket template two. And he got there and he said, God, I'm gonna need some good lover. And God was like, peace well, be with you, Bobby. And yeah. Bobby was like, peace be with you too. In the afterworld, in the afterworld, Bob Vila's being sassy to God in the afterworld. Here's what's going to happen in this verse, Andy. Okay, please. I'm going to set the drum machine down. Yes. I am going to calmly and with a great amount of care, I'm going to walk off of the studio. I'm going to get both feet completely over the barricade that they have to construct. Every day before there's the a, show. There's a barricade in front of us. It's like a, it's like a doggy door. And they're like, they put it up so that Jay doesn't wander and get himself hurt out in the rest of the studio. And earlier, if you'll remember, I tried to gingerly studio. leap over it with, without a care. I was like a baby deer. You were like Carl Lewis doing a golden long jump in and the Olympics. And what happened, Andy, and this is news to everybody, <coughs> with my foot caught. My foot caught on it. And I went down. That's right. I went down so hard. Down Andy. goes Frazier, but it was down goes Gillespie. Yes, and uh, everyone freaked out. Everyone went 
crazy. As they you rushed into the studio. When the star of the Jaguar Morning Show falls on his face in front of the studio, the yes. crowd, in front of the staff, it is not only a physical problem for the host, yes. it's, a, it's a moral loss for the production team. Yeah, the heart. They're, they're crying. For a moment, they thought the heart, right. the heart of the whole thing, tumbled down. Tumbled down. But right now, Andy, we're going to sing one more chorus. And then I'm going to bring it back into a verse. One more. And I'm going to leisurely walk this direction yes. so I can have a drink of Monster Please. so we can close it strong. But first, Please. what's, wait, what's, okay, we're going to go with, what's the, what's the, the afterworld. In the afterworld. In the afterworld. Jay's going to casually stroll to get a drink. In the afterworld. And in the afterworld, it doesn't matter that you don't spend time with your kids. Because you don't need to post pictures of them at a different time on Instagram that was years ago because you moved to Tennessee to become a big country star. And now it's time for you to uh, remember the time where your, your little boy, Jeff, sat on your, uh, on your lap and played with his bristle blocks. And he said, look, Dad, I'd like to make a little house for my little pet mouse named Jeremy. And that little mouse named Jeremy has a home in the bristle blocks with you and your son Jeff. And 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 and, and, and sometimes in the afterworld, your son Jeff is already there. Because time is a Mobius strip, but also it's shapeless. And that means Jeff is already there, waiting for you. In the afterworld, in the afterworld, Jeff is already there waiting for you. In the afterworld, he's already there! You're already there! Afterworld is gonna be such an awesome party. Gandhi's there. Jesus is there. Andy Warhol is there. Jim Morrison is there. Pablo Picasso is there. Uh, Richard Nixon is there. David Bowie is there. David Bowie is there. Pryor is there. Prince is there. George Carlin is there. Robin Williams is there. Um, My grandma, Grandma Sue, Dinah she's there. Shore I can't wait there. to see her again. Love you, Grandma Sue. I'll see you in heaven. Joan Rivers is there. Joan Rivers is going to be there. Harriet Tubman is there. Yes, a lot of former presidents are going to be there. Abraham Lincoln is there. <clears throat> Everyone on every laugh track in every TV show is there. Um, uh, uh, the people from uh, that one plane crash where they all ate each other and alive, they're there. Eliza Schlesinger is there. Because even though she just got married, we're all in the afterworld. All of us together it's, in the afterworld. We're all together, arm in arm. Oh, 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 now we're bringing it back, occasionally, in the, occasionally, in the afterworld, in the afterworld, you push the wrong button, the drum beat speeds up, in the afterworld, it's confusing, it's confusing, a lot of stuff happens, a lot of different stuff happens, alright, I'm excited, uh, there's gonna be music in the afterworld, Miles Davis is there, you know, in the afterworld, you can build, just like Shaquille O'Neal, you can build a water slide from your bedroom out in a hole from the second story of your house. You can get in the tunnel, and it's a water slide into your pool, Jay, in the afterworld. In the afterworld, you can star and write and direct a reboot of the movie on the waterfront, if you wanted to. You could have been a contender because you already are one in the afterworld. That's right. You could... Feasibly, if you wanted to, if you take want. a canoe all the way from the beginning of the Mississippi River in the Yukon of Canada, down through all the states, pop out of the Gulf of Mexico, and you can do all of these things in the afterworld, in the afterworld. There's a million freaking colors in the afterworld. Colors we haven't even thought of yet. Yep, sounds we never even thought of yet. There's gotta be movies you can see that haven't even been released in theaters. Creatures you don't understand will talk to you. They'll speak in your tongue, but also several other incomprehensible languages. That's right. Reese Witherspoon will greet you upon your entrance and say, Welcome to the afterworld. She'll say, Welcome, sweet home Alabama. To your left, you will find our cookie buffet. To your right, you will find a million beautiful rocks. And then she'll put on a little Willy Wonka hat. And she'll say, and to your above, you'll find the meatball fountain. Yeah, but she'll play a little, 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 little piccolo thing. She'll be like, doo doo doo, and, and then, then a bunch of angels will come out. And then below, it'll be a river of cheese. That's right, a good cheese too, not stupid, stupid yellow cheese. Good cheese. Fancy cheddars and goudas melted. 
been made into a, such a smooth and velvety sauce that you're not going to know what to have in Gouda, 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 and a million other melted cheese that you will find in the afterworld, in the afterworld. There's a million different kinds of cheeses in the afterworld, in the afterworld, in the afterworld. There's a million reruns of Jaguar in the afterworld. So get yourself a ticket, buy yourself a fast pass. Take a minute at the end, where you're at the end. We got an man. hour and 58 minutes into this show. You understand that? Off the brakes. Think of everything we've been through today. Damn. Think of all the different experiences we had. You remember earlier when we worked out? I do. And you remember when we did the news and sports and weather and we told you that there was going to be a bunch of new segments and we didn't deliver on that? Yeah, I remember the four new segments we didn't do. Mm -hmm. And you remember when I fell down so hard to hurt myself? Yeah, I remember when Jay fell off camera and uh, it's going to be hurting all day from internal bleeding. We should probably get his spleen checked. Once again, I would like to remind our viewers that if something goes wrong in my body, I will die. There is no plan B. Now it's this is the this. ultimate callback. If Jay does die, and the it'll be off camera. He talked about it at the beginning of the show. Yeah. He did say that there could be an opportunity yeah. for him to pass away on the show. Yeah. This might have been it. When he jumped out to get his Monster Energy drink, we don't know if he's dealing with a pancreatic rupture or a liver failure. So I just want to take one minute, Andy. If so, I do die tonight, if this is the end of me and, I, and I'm dead, I just want to say that I love you all. Love I love you. you all very much, and I'm so glad that I got we to experience you. this world with you, and that I got to see some of the most beautiful things, and that I got to have a moment. I just love love everyone on this list. I love I love Andy. I love my family. I love everyone. I've got so much love in my we heart. We have so much love in our heart for you that we're going to see you Thursday at the Jaguar Morning Show right here again on the stream, jaguarmorningshow.com, Xfinity, Comcast 57, or CenturyLink 8809. That's Please, nice. go out and enjoy the day. You are your own Jaguar. You have earned your place in this world. You are worth it. We love you so much. Mm. You come back and see us every Tuesday and Thursday at Channel 57 from 9 to 11, sexbotcomedy.com, on uh, jaguarmorningshow.com. And just know that it's gonna be okay, even if I die, Know that everything I did, it was worth it. And I hope that there's joy. Just celebrate it. Celebrate it. I want my funeral to be a party. I want everyone high. I want you to get drunk. And I want you to sing songs. I want you to have a good time because the world is a miracle. And we're all lucky to be a part of it. Thank you so much. I will see you on Thursday or I'll be dead. Either way, it don't even matter. Please donate to Jay's inevitable funeral GoFundMe. We'll see you Thursday, 9 to 11, Mountain on Jaguar Morning Show. <clears throat>